All right, Torture Talk, man. The uh, beach version. You know. All right, man. Let's get into this real quick. I want to do this real quick vlog on the song uh, Timeless. Uh, Benny the Butcher featuring uh, Lil Wayne and, uh, and Big Sean. Um, before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Uh, hit the notification bell. If you want to donate Cash App, link is in the description. All right, man. All right, so let me get into this real quick because I see a lot of people talking about Benny the Butcher. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. He got washed on this song. Like, his verse was cool. Don't get me wrong. His verse is actually pretty all right. But nah, nah. And surprisingly, Lil Wayne got him the fuck out of here. Like, look, just Lil Wayne alone verse was super fire. And I know I didn't hear Wayne rap like that since uh since uh, a dedication or the drought. Like, or well, maybe people could say, well, maybe maybe because he knew he was gonna be on the track with Benny, because Benny's been kind of been kind of getting people out of here sometimes, you know. So maybe that was the reason why. But and Big Sean, Big Sean been doing, but Big Sean doing this thing for last year, so. But Lil Wayne surprised me. Like his verse, his verse clearly was better than Benny the Butcher verse. I can argue that him and Big Sean went back, you know, back and forth. You can argue that. But Benny was third on that track. He was third by 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 a long shot. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about like he was number three. And if there was somebody else on the track, he probably would have been, you know, if you had Drake on the track or if you had Anybody else on that track, he probably would have been fourth. Let's just keep it real. But as far as uh, Beanie the Butcher goes in uh, his career, Beanie's been making making noise for the last uh, two years, I would say. And for me, Griselda, Beanie the Butcher, Conway, uh, West Side Gun, they did spark a movement, even though I think there were people doing it before them, but they did spark a movement. Don't get me wrong, they did. But here's the thing about about Benny. You know what you're getting when you get, when you uh, listen to Benny. I don't I don't want to hear that no more. I'm not saying I don't want to hear him rap about he rap anymore. But I don't want to hear what you're doing if you're doing the same thing. He's like a one trick pony now to me. Like Benny's clearly became a one trick pony to me. And it's like okay, yeah, you really good at those tricks. But let's see you do something else because you every every verse is about the same thing. Now, if you're doing this, if you're doing this for your, your 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 street niggas, okay, cool. But I'm not a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear something more from you. I want to hear some artistry from you. Now, maybe this album that's coming out, maybe it'll change my mind. I doubt it, but maybe it'll change my mind. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, because you got a bunch of hard verses to me. That doesn't mean anything anymore to me. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't do it no more. I can't sit here and pretend like these artists is super fire when they spit the same thing over and over again. And again, your ability to rap street is a, lim is a number 10. But listen, bro, every great legend that came from the streets always stepped out the box. And that's why they became a legend. You got to show me something different because I'm seeing other rappers actually out rapping you now. I'm seeing other rappers that are better than you now. Clean as day. You know what I'm saying? Whether you have a fan base or not, your fans, I'm a fan. But I'm I'm a I am not I am not one of those fans that's just gonna tell you something, just to tell you. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you it's a hard verse, but I'm also gonna give you what I think is wrong with it. I'm not gonna just say it's hard because I feel as though, oh, it's a hard verse or that joke is crazy. No. I need to hear more from you because I know you have it in you. I don't want to hear the same, the same rhetoric that you always coming up with. How many times you gonna say Pyrex? You done said Pyrex the last ten times. Like, come on, bro. Let's be serious. Let's be serious with this. Let's stop playing this game and hold and start holding these dudes accountable. Because it, you're gonna keep on saying he's fire and he's gonna get lazy. Like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Yeah, he got some hard verses and y'all and y'all y'all. Sometimes I feel like y'all be gassing a lot of his verses. Like I was, before I even heard the song, I seen niggas say, "Yo, Benny, oh my God, Benny verse was crazy. Benny, oh my God, oh my God." Then I went and listened to the song. He got washed. He got washed. It wasn't even close. He got washed. 
I'm like, come on, are you kidding me? Like, nah. You think he gonna be? Look, listen. I seen a list that had him at number one of lyricists, lyricists of 2020. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe, maybe uh, uh, he top, maybe he top five, top. I would say top six. But lyricists of this year, no way. He's not number one. There's no way. Okay, yeah, he has some hard verses, but come on, man. There are other people that are rapping better than him, better cadence, better bars, better lyrics, better projects than him. He's the most popular lyricist right now, you should say, but not the best. And I think that uh, I think that uh, Benny, Benny can keep doing his thing and he will get better over time. But he just got to think out the box. That's all.